please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. Today is Tuesday, September 17th, 2024, and a C-Day. Good morning, I'm Brody. Good morning, I'm Morgan. All students who want to drive to school are required to take the safe driving seminar once during their time at Schrader. Juniors, the class is mandatory for you this year. Seniors, if you took the class last year, you do not need to repeat it this year. If you didn't take the class this summer, the next class is tomorrow in the Schrader Auditorium after school. The class will be offered again in December. If you have already taken the class and need your updated parking pass, see Mrs. Sprague in the main office. Who knew raising some money could be so smooth and refreshing? Tropical Smoothie Cafe is partnering with the PTSA to raise money for Schrader and Goal today from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Stop by and grab your favorite treat and contribute to our school. Calculators are ready for pickup in WTI. If you or your parents requested a calculator for this school year, please stop into WTI as soon as possible to pick it up. Attention seniors with late arrival or early release. Centuries have your gold card stickers. Please see them in the cafeteria during lunch to get yours. Do you want to help others? Do you want to earn service hours? Are you interested in writing letters to honor our veterans? Join Rotary. We have our first Rotary meeting after school on Thursday, September 19th in E27. Hope to see you there. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Landis in E27. Are you interested in having some extra time to create some art at school? Consider joining Mural Club. This year, students can paint murals for the school, have time to work on independent artworks, or get help with the art projects assigned in class. The club meets every Monday starting on September 23rd. Swing by E8 to sign up or ask questions. That's it for me, and now over to Morgan. Thank you, Brody. If you are wanting to make new friends, expand your knowledge of different cultures, or practice your letter writing skills, you should think about joining our new Pen Pal Club. Schrader students will correspond with students learning English in South Korea and learn about South Korean food, language, and culture. Please stop into E8 with questions or to sign up. Hurry, spots are limited. Meetings will be held monthly on Tuesdays. How would you like to be in a social club for students who like to read? Come to the first library club meeting after school today and see if it is a good fit for you. Where do we meet? In the library, of course. A late bus run is available. Are you interested in giving back to your school and community? Then Key Club may be for you. Join us for a short Key Club kickoff meeting Thursday, September 19th at 3.20 in the auditorium. Attention juniors! Homecoming shirts are in. T-shirts can be picked up if dues are paid or purchased for $15 today during 4th and 5th period lunches. Interested in exploring the culture, food, and history of Puerto Rico? Do you want to zipline in El Yunque rainforest, snorkel in sparkling blue waters, and explore bioluminescent bays? Then join us on our trip to Puerto Rico this April break. Join the informational Google Classroom with the code ZGKIS2S and see Senora Hall or Senora O'Connor for more information. There will be an NHS general membership meeting on Monday, September 23rd at 3.20 p.m. in the library classroom. Attention student council members. There is a meeting tomorrow morning at 8.15 in Mr. Peck's room, W8, where we will continue to work on, ho on homecoming week. New members are always welcome. Hope to see you all there. The 3-0 JV Warrior Volleyball team competed in the Penfield Tournament this Saturday. After going 5-1 in pool play, the ladies advanced to the gold bracket, making it all the way to the finals and coming in second place to Portville. Assistant Addie, Riley the Bench Destroyer, CC See Me Block, Ballin' Out Brielle, and You Ain't Scoring Lauren all played phenomenally. Congrats on a great start of the season, girls. That's it for me, and now over to Catherine. Thank you, Morgan. Varsity Field Hockey traveled to Eastridge last night, where they won 3-2. Victoria P. opened up scoring in the first quarter. 
Addie R scored the second goal, and just three minutes later, Victoria P put the third and final goal in for the Warriors, her second of the night. Sophia S was in goal for the Warriors and had six saves. Webster Boys Volleyball swept Victor in three straight sets last night to improve their record to 4-2. to two. Carter C. distributed 21 assists to Gavin T.'s 10 and Freddie B.'s 5 kills, respectively. Jacob O. powered 4 aces, while Dylan W. defended 4 blocks. The Lakers travel to Brighton on Wednesday. The varsity girls soccer team defeated Rush Henrietta yesterday by a score of 4-1. to one. Scoring for Schrader was Kylie C., Morgan T., and Caroline M., and Reese A. scored their first varsity career goals. Jocelyn G., Emma R., and Morgan T. all added assists. Congratulations to the boys and girls cross-country teams on their great race this past weekend. The running warriors competed in Wayne Invitational on Saturday and had a great day, with the boys coming in second place. Connor M. won the boys' race, and these boys earned medals by finishing in the top 20. Brayden P. 8th. Ben M is 14th, and freshman Sawyer Z, who is having an outstanding frosh campaign so far, was 16th. And the final boy medalist was Chase L, who took 18th in his first ever cross-country invite. On the girls' side, Julia V was the only girls' medalist, taking 17th place, while freshman Maddie N was 27th, while taking two minutes off her previous best time. That's it for me, and now over to an announcement from Mr. Benz. Good morning, Warriors. Happy Tuesday. Um, one quick announcement, and if, make sure that our first period teachers are paying attention, as they already know. But today, we'll be doing our first lockdown drill. Each one of these emergency response cards are in every single classroom and or area that a student may be in. Okay, so make sure you review this ahead of time. We'll do our first lockdown drill towards the end of first period today. Um, it's obviously, it's one of those more serious drills, so please participate prop appropriately, um, but we do four of these throughout the year, two in each semester. So thank you for your cooperation and have a wonderful Tuesday.